effects in. So a cube is a cube is a cube, a very basic and functional packaging form and it's possible to deform it so you can create a whole family of subtle and beautiful variations. So for example here's one way where we shave off the top face to make it sloping and it can then stand on that or stand some other way or perhaps to take off an edge like this where now there's an extra rectangle which again it can stand on or maybe take off a corner so we have a triangle here and again it can stand on that. All these are very beautiful forms, especially this one I think that's twisted. So the top and the bottom are still square but the four sides twist so it has this subtle spiralling effect. Then you can take a cube and almost knock it to the side so it looks like this and it can stand in many interesting ways on squares or on these rhombuses or to perhaps stretch it from corner to corner to elongate it like a diamond. Also you can then you can then you can twist the top and the bottom squares to be at 45 degrees to each other and then connect them there with these lines to make triangles so it ends up looking very faceted. That's particularly beautiful in a strong light. Or imagine if it was squashed here so that the sides bulge out and also go inwards as well so it's another packaging form. There are many of these, even to put curves where there were folds before. So from one end it looks like a cube, but from the other you have these beautiful subtle curves. Or finally this example, which is a pyramid without its top, where we're kind of shaving in the four sides. So there are many ways to distort a basic cube to create whole families of beautiful forms. Uh.